What's going on guys? It's your boy M4H coming at you with another tutorial and today we're going to be going over the Astro A50 Gen 3s. I'm going to show you how to update the software, how to troubleshoot them, and how to change some settings to make your gameplay even better. So let's get started. Easy go. guys so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to head over to astrogaming.com and click on the support button and you scroll down here and you'll see the software you select Astro A50 Gen 3 base station and download it for PC once you get that done you go ahead and plug your Astro base into your PC and turn it from PS4 or Xbox mode to PC mode and then open up the Astro command center once you get in here you can see all the different presets you have in your command center so every pair of A50s has your three presets on the side so I have mine set to the A50 mod kit the pro and the studio mode mod kit is for noise canceling and all that your pro mode is for your high frequencies so you can hear footsteps and things like that like super hearing mode on turtle beaches so it's more for FPS and shooter games and your studio mode is better for your music and videos and things of that nature so once you get in here, if there's an update for your base station, it will automatically update once you plug it in. This is the current firmware, 24.327.42, so mine is fully updated and ready to go. Up here in the little settings button, as you can see, it'll automatically check for updates on launch and will automatically update them. If you want, you can go to the website itself and download the firmware manually and then update it here manually. So if you need to change any of your presets, you can go ahead and click on the preset you want. And then you can click here to change it however you feel free. But I'm going to leave mine as my mod kit. And then if you want to click the other ones, you know, if you don't want pro mode or studio mode, you go ahead and go on your actual headset and you go ahead and slop it down a spot. And as you can see, I've now unlocked that spot to change it however I please. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back on pro mode and I can even switch down to the bottom one here. And I got all three of the ones I want. So once I have that done, my equalizer presets are the way I want them. I can go to microphone. I have it as noise gate for streaming because I do a lot of streaming. My equalizer is warm for my mic. My mic level you can change. Your side tones you can change and things of that nature. You go in your stream port. You got your game chat, your chat audio, your microphone level. And as well as aux for if you plug an aux cord into the back of your Astros. Most people don't. Everybody usually runs optical. And if you do have a PS4 Slim and you can't figure out how to get it optical, I will leave a link below to a video I created on how to set up Astro A50s on the PS4 as well for the Slim that doesn't come with an optical port because who knows what Sony was doing. But they did not decide to put an optical port on the Slims. And then you just have your normal settings. You can balance between your voice and your game chat, your alert volume, and your base station brightness. I have mine all turned down because there's no sense of me just frying the LEDs in my base station because it's pointless. So once you're good to go and you have all that set up, you can go ahead and sync to your device. And that'll sync all these settings to your mod kit and to your Astros. And you are good to go. Now another thing I ran into is the battery. Sometimes when you put your headset on the dock, it does not charge the battery. And the easiest way to reset your headset is to take it off the dock, hold the Dolby button as well as the game button at the same time for 15 seconds, and it'll make a tone, and then it'll make another tone. And once it does that, it'll completely turn off the base station and reset the headset. And then all you have to do is go ahead and set it back down on the base station and it'll go ahead and sync back up, clear all the settings, and should be good to go, brand new, and ready to play. And that's about it, guys. If you have any other questions in regard to Astros, I know I've seen a lot of things about sound quality, the headset breaking up, and things of that nature. And with wireless, there's a lot of things going in with your Wi-Fi, different fre frequencies coming in that are causing uh, blockages. And there's a lot of different videos out there. I've been looking into researching because I lose connection every now and then. Not very often, but it does happen. So if it's really, really bad, I recommend contacting Astro directly and seeing if maybe it might be your headset. Because if you follow this video, you update your firmware, you re hard reset your headset and all that, and you're still getting really bad breakups, I would get a hold of Astro directly 
and make sure that they can troubleshoot it. And if they can't fix it, they'll get you a brand new headset and fix it and be good to go. So that's about it, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, like I said, let me know in the comments below. And I will try to do whatever I can to help you guys out. Thanks a lot. Yo!